Hi, let's see one of the gate question which was asked in the year 2008. Okay, so they are asking us here, what is printed by the following CPOGRAM? Okay, fine. So, you know, every CPOGRAM is going to start its execution from the main method. And here they declare three variables. One is integer variable with a name C. Another one is a pointer variable with a name B. Another one is a double pointer variable with a name E. So I hope you know, right? Integer variable C means which is going to store only value. B is a pointer which can store address of one variable. Double pointer is a kind of a variable which can store the address of one more point. And then they are going to initialize the value of C with the 4. Yes, 4 is initialized. And the value of B with the address of C. Guys, you know, once a particular variable is created, it's, all, it's having its own address memory location. So I am assuming that the C is stored at a location 100, B at 200, A at the location 300. Now, B contains a value which is address of C. Address of C is 100. So it will be connected like this. And A contains a value which is address of B. Guys, A is a kind of a double pointer. That is the reason it can able to store the address of B. So it contains 200. Okay, fine. So up to here we did. Now they are trying to print the value, integer value, and that integer value they are trying to call with a function f of c comma b comma a, meaning that indirectly they are trying to send the values directly, right? So what is the value of c? 4. Value of B is 100, value of A is 200, right? So as 100 is a kind of address, the receiving parameter should be a pointer. As 200 is a kind of a double pointer address, so the receiving parameter should be double point. So that's the reason they made the receiving parameters in the same structure. Okay, fine. Meaning that now X contains a temporary variable is created. X contains the value for PY is a pointer which contains the data like 100. As it knows the address 100, it will be pointed to this particular location. Now, PPZ is a kind of a double pointer, temporary double pointer, which contains the value 200. The value 200. As it contains the value 200, it will be connected to the respective location. Okay. Now, they declared again two local variables. One is Y, another one is Z. And you know, once a variable is created, it's having address as 300 and 400, I am assuming similarly. Okay. And the next statement they have given is star star ppz plus equal to 1, meaning that assignment arithmetic operator, right? So the same expression I can write like this, right? So star star ppz equal to star star ppz plus 1. Okay. So so what is the value of ppj 200 so i am waiting here right meaning that i am waiting here if i get one star i will go for inside inside b meaning that i will get the 100 i'll get the 100 if i get one more star meaning that i can able to enter into the value of c so this value we are going to get as 4 4 plus 1 is 5 that will be updated into which location? Again, star star ppj. So this value is going to replace it with the, the 5. Let's do the 5. Now, z equal to star star ppj. z equal to star star ppj. So what is star star ppj? Again, 5, right? So the value of z is going to copy it with the value 5. I hope you know, again, how we are going to get star star ppj. ppj is 200. Star ppj means 100. If you get one more star, we are going to get inside the house. So if you want to get clarity, you can go through the previous videos. So that value I copy into variable called Z with a value 5. Now they have written like star PY equal plus equal to 2, right? So the same expression I can write like star PY equal to star PY plus 2, right? What is PY? PY is 100, PY is 100, right? Yes, I know its address. I am waiting here. If I am going to get its log, I can enter inside its house. 
so uh, that's why i got star py what is the star py 5 right so this value is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 that will be updated in the same memory location 7 7 now next statement is y equal to star py what is the value of y now star py star py is you know 7 so it is going to get the value as 7 now x plus equal to 3 again x plus equal to 3 means x equal to x plus 3 what is the value of x x value is you have to check in the local right you have to check in the local right if you check in the local x value is 4 x value is 4 so 4 plus 3 is 7 that will be updated in the local variable 7 okay and finally they are trying to return to the function call that is x plus y plus z what is the value of x value of x is 7 so 7 plus what is the value of y 7 what is the value of z that is 5 so sum up of these 7 plus 7 14 14 plus 5 19 that 19 will be returned to the function which is called okay so finally it is going to print your result as 19 so guys this is a multiple choice question only they have given the options as one is 18 another one is 19 21 and 22 so your correct answer is 90. I hope you understood it clearly guys. Thank you.